What up y'all, it's Polo with Slime Green Beats and this is a basic mixing tutorial. We're going to use Fruity Parametric EQ2 which is a very popular mixing tool that even professionals use so I'm just going to show you the basic mixing but this is this is still a mixing technique that I use even today so you're going to learn a whole lot so uh, pay attention and whatnot. So um, you'll notice this is the channel rack. If you want to send sounds in the channel rack to the mixer you can hit Control L and it'll line them up here and it'll also show the name. The only thing we're missing is a melody. Let's go ahead and add a melody type of sound, random melody sound. And you can also manually change it just by clicking this and then pushing upwards on your mouse. So just move that around. So we'll start off with the kick. We're gonna go to pretty parametric EQ2. Now the goal of EQing is to cut out kind of like, I guess like fluff sounds. So like extra, like, uh, sorry about that kick. Fluff sounds, so here's the kick. And um, as you see, like it's mostly just over here, so we kind of want to just keep this area. And we don't want it, you see how it's like red over here and kind of like this, this extra sound we just don't want. So let's right click, go to order, go to steep six. This is what I like to do. I like to do the steep six just because you get a tighter mix. And then move this till you are satisfied with the sound so really it's just like you just want to move it till it's like not changing that much so at that at this point you don't really notice the change um and it's it's eq'd pretty nice now what you what you can also do is double eq i'm just going ahead and, and i'm just going to go ahead and show you this because it's something that you know is is useful to try if it's still like really hanging over like it is for this kick so double EQing in this situation really tightens it. You notice how it's just like nothing there now? So that's that's a nice little EQ. Single EQ, double EQ. Notice it will it will alter the sound, so do be careful. Um, I, I recommend double EQing really for melodies more so. There you go, that's that's pretty nice, you know. Um we'll move on to the clap. And all these sounds are are virtually the same. The clap. The clap is, is a lot like the snare, it's a little bit different, uh, but they're both high end, as in like the sound is on the higher end of the spectrum. So it's way over there, so what we're gonna do is go over here, steep six it up, same technique. Cut out the fluff. It's pretty good right there. We don't have to double EQ. Again, double EQing is kind of advanced, even though this is a basic tutorial, but I mean, you know, you, you know it, and uh, congrats. So then there's hi-hat. Hi-hat is a high, so we can expect it to be on the right side, very far on the right. Hi-hat is probably the easiest thing to EQ. Well, I mean, they're all easy to EQ. Now, let me tell you something, too. You know, what I like about EQing is, like, or what I like about mixing is, like, it's something you can do to every beat, and it's just going to make it sound better. So it's, it's, it's kind of like a freebie. It's like a free, like, like boost like you don't necessarily even have to be good at like beat making the mix you know um and then snare snare is also on the high end so snare we don't want it to interfere with the low cut it out now you know the snare is a lot like the clap and then melody last is melody uh melody is is kind of can usually be in the middle melody can be in the middle so if you're EQing the melody, um, oftentimes, this is a little bit high actually, but sometimes you can cut it out at the high too, but for the most part, just make sure you at least get the low. There's other cool presets you can try out too, so if you want to try a preset, uh, go to presets and then radio is a neat one. Notice how it cuts out the high and the low there. That's like a whole different effect. But for practical usage, again, if you're just going to EQ without changing the sound too much, that'll do it. And like I said, for melodies, double EQing is really good. Uh, yep, double EQing is great. Nope. Get out of the way, please. Uh... And the reason I steep six is because if you do this, you just see like it's like it kind of slopes. I like it like a lot tighter. You can do a steep eight if you want. 
So just do whatever you like, really. And then there you go. That's that's EQing sounds in a nutshell. Basic EQing for beginners. If you do that, it's gonna it's gonna make it's gonna make your beats sound better. Just just like that, you know, in a short amount of time. So I'm gonna show you some beats that I made recently, and I'll I'll show you guys how I EQ them. Okay, here's a beat I made earlier today. And uh, it also has vocals, so I'll show you a little bit of vocal EQing. Basic vocal EQing. Now melody, here's how the melody's looking. Again, I double EQ'd, just like I said. Keeps keeps it away from the drums, that's the key. Melody, drums. I don't, I don't, I'm not a rapper, but um, snare, let's go to snare, see. On my telephone, looking like Moesha. I be like seashore. Kick. Roll up the pizza. Yeah, I believe. Kick. It. Real tight. Hats. We gonna make it, yeah. Hats. We gonna make it. Perks. Percussion. Percussion is pretty much like uh I forgot percussion, but percussion can be is a little bit like the melody, where you can have it like kind of like mid to high. Bass, bass is a lot like an 808. So 808 is a lot like a kick, so kind of like there, there, yep. There's no 808s in this beat. Vocals, you can see how I did the vocals. Uh, go back to the vocals. Kind of cut. Vocals typically mid to high. So a lot like the melody, which is why in a lot of songs, uh, rec like big songs, you'll probably hear like the melody really toned down. It's because the vocals and the melody are literally like almost exactly the same. So that's that's why in a lot of big beats, you know, it almost sounds like they don't have a melody. Show you guys another beat. All right, same thing here. Same thing here. Um, except for I switched. You guys see that? Okay. Uh, switch sides. I wrote the first half of this. Right, hold up. Real quick. Well, not the first half. Like. What? 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 Now I'm here. Now I'm there. Now. Okay. Subscribe. <laughs> so sorry. Okay. Parametric EQ2. I double EQ'd again. Double EQ'd again. Same thing. Snare. Same thing. How it's like. Yeah, let's go to something that's playing real quick. EQ, focus. Uh, I just name these randomly. You can name them if you want. You can to name it. You can. I forgot to miss hit that. This, baby, I miss go you. away. Miss you and me. If you want to ever name a track, I hit rename. I was just two, it's not three. E. Uh, let's start over. over. But like, um, where are we watching, guys? Subscribe. Vocals is going. Same thing. Yeah. I could have double EQ the vocals too. It's not a bad idea. Uh, perks again. Perks, same thing. Kind of like mid to high. Yeah. High hat. I started the high hat right. Go away. I forgot to miss this, baby. I miss kick. you. Miss you and me. I really hone in on the kick. Always hone in the kick. That was just two, it's not three. E. That's all I wrote. This one has an 808 too. Which I which I'm not in love with. I, it's really quiet. Uh, yo, it's gonna, it's about to come up. I saw the snare right. Oh crap! It's like uh. Oh, it's about to come on. I have my 808 real low on this one. Okay, yeah, this is skipping. Um, oh, it's because I have ozone more than likely. Yep. Ozone is like the heaviest thing ever. It's a mastering tool. So don't think that I'm trash or whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I usually put on ozone last because it skips and I just export it. But yeah, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Um, Thanks for watching. This is a basic EQ mixing tutorial. You know, hit the like button on this one. You know, uh, and and what have you. Shout out. If you guys have any video requests, let me know. And uh, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Subscribe, like, share. Peace out. Hold it.